could it mean? Greetings. So we're just going to wait like a minute or two for the others, and then we're going to begin with this week number three. So we are going to wait just like a moment for the others, and then we are going to begin. Good evening. Okay, this is the week number three. If you can uh, imagine this time, uh, we are going to complete one more week and then we are going to end this uh, module. So we are almost at the end. And uh, when we end this week, these four days, uh, we're just going to have one more week, four more days. So in this case, we're just like, um having eight days to complete this um this module this course this month so remember that the last week was the middle of this course and now we are almost at the end and we are like um not feeling the time uh, that we are working right now because it's like kind of fast and we are almost 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 at the end and we need to complete the topics we need to complete um the elements that we have on the platform but also we need to, to learn more things uh, related to uh, this course so we're just going to have a couple of days more and then we are going to complete this whole thing and you're going to say, oh, wow, it's the end. It's amazing. And I know it is amazing because we are almost at the end of this one. But uh, for this week, we are going to have like different topics. We are going to have more practices. So in the first um, two weeks, we have like a information. We have a like different topics we have like different information but we are going to try to practice more in these two last weeks um but for the practices obviously we are going to do it like uh when everyone is on the meeting uh because we are not going to do it at the beginning of the session because you know that it's kind of complicated that everyone is here but we are going to do it like in the middle of the uh the session or something like that. So for this week, we are going to see uh, something very interesting because we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. And in this one, we are going to talk a lot. So we are going to have like short conversations related to, to this topic that we are going to uh, see in this session. Because in this case, you're going to talk about things that uh, you like and things that you don't like. So in this case, um, you are going to uh, talk about those things because the, the topic that we are going to develop uh, today is likes and dislikes. Okay. But for the session that we are going to have today, I'm going to share with you the document and also I'm going to show you the um, the phrase that we have for today. So let me show you this one. I'm going to like take this out and also this one. And I think this one too. Okay. So this is the phrase that we have for today, and it says, we know what we are, but not what we might be. 
So in this case, it's very important that we can have this kind of phrases because um, we are thinking maybe that we are not enough or that we are not strong enough to complete our goals. But you know that we know that what we are, we know that uh, what is our reality, but at the end, we are not sure um, what we might be in the future. Um, you know, that is kind of complicated to say that, ah, I know that I'm going to fail uh, because um, in some cases it is not like that. We are like um, having different situations in which we need to stop and think uh, what we are doing in that moment. So in that case, we are not sure about the future and we are not sure about the things that we can do in the future. We are just seeing ourselves in this precise moment. And in some cases, we are seeing ourselves in, in a very bad way. But you know, that is like a moment in our life. We are not going to be um, this person all the time because we change, we improve, we move, and we have different things that we need to remember. So don't focus on bad things. You need to, to focus in, um, in your uh, in your things in the in the work that you are doing, and the future that you want to create. So you know who you are in this precise moment, but you don't know who you are going to, to be in the future. You can say, ah, but I'm going to be the same person. It is not the 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 real thing because we are changing, we find different things that make us uh, change the way we think. So in this case, we are going to change the way we see the future and we see the life in the future. Now, I was saying that we are going to have more practices in this, um, in these sessions of these uh, two last weeks, because you know that in the first two weeks we were like listening and learning different things, remember different information. But now we're going to make like very short um, exercises, very short practices, but those short uh, um, practices are going to help us to feel more um, like secure about the things that we are saying. Um, these uh, kind of uh, activities are going to make us feel like that we are talking in a natural way. We are going to practice, we are going to improve, we are going to listen, we are going to create different things. So in this case, we are going to make this kind of uh, short practices. It is not like a lot of uh, long activities. They are very short, but it's going to be very useful for you and for us and all of us. So what is the topic that we are going to see right now is this one, likes and dislikes. Vamos a hablar de lo que nos gusta y lo que no nos gusta. This topic is very interesting because we are going to think about the different things that we like, the different things that we don't like. And we are not just talking about clothes. We are talking about food. We are talking about animals. We are going to talk about music. We are going to talk about TV shows. We are going to talk about movies, different categories that we are going to see. And you need to think about all of the things um, that you like and dislike. But we are going to see something first. Let me show you something. We are going to move to the platform, but I'm not, I need to stop this one because I need to share the sound. We are going to listen to a conversation that is called, I really like pop music. So we need to, to listen carefully to that information because we are going to make something uh, related to this kind of um, topics or this kind of ideas because we are talking about music. So pay attention to this information and then we are going to talk about more about music. So let's see.
In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section 4. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box, I want you to share with us what kind of music do you listen to or like? Okay, in this case, we have like people that is talking about music. Um, they are talking about a very specific um, kind of music. Uh, the topic or the name of this conversation is I really like pop music. But also they are talking about rap. So in this case, we have people that is asking, do you like rap? And she said, no, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He is a singer. Um, oh, I guess I don't know how uh, I don't know much about rap. Uh, so what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. So in this case, we are talking about different kind of music that we like and even music that we don't like. And that is the base for the information that we are going to work on this session. So we have this information related to this conversation about the different kind of music or the things that they like or things they don't like. So in this case, we have this first image, this one, that is related to music sales in the United States. So we are talking about the different kind of music that people listen in the United States. We are going to read the name of the styles or the different kind of music. And then we are going to make like a, a just like a comparison between the uh, music that we listen and also the music that we like. So in this case, we have rock, we have classical music, we have jazz, we have gospel, we have country, we have pop, R&B, y the last one is rap. Aquí tenemos diferentes estilos de música. Tenemos diferentes... Um, like, diferentes gustos, ¿verdad? Tenemos diferentes gustos de música que a las personas les gusta en Estados Unidos. Tenemos lo que es el rock, tenemos la música clásica, el jazz, tenemos eh, las alabanzas, tenemos música country, tenemos el pop, el R&B y tenemos el rap. Y ahí ustedes pueden ver unos eh, porcentajes, ¿verdad? De las personas a las que les gusta ese tipo de música o el tipo de personas, o sea, el porcentaje de personas que consumen ese tipo de música. And in this case, the number one is rock music with a 25% of, of sales in this case, or listeners. Then we have with 16 other kind of music. In this case, we have like a lot of different kind of music. Then we have rap with 14%, R&B with 11%, pop with 11%, country with 9%, gospel with 7%, jazz with 4%, and classical with 3%. So in this case, we're going to have two different questions. 
Vamos a ver, vamos a tener dos preguntas diferentes relacionadas con esto. The first one is, which of these kinds of music are popular in our country? Which of these kind of music are popular in our country? And second one is, what other kinds of music are popular in our country? So in this case, I'm going to make three, one, three, three questions. I'm going to add one more. What other kinds of music are popular in our country? And the last one, what is your favorite Okay, we have three questions. We are going to answer one by one. Vamos a responderlas una por uno. So in this case, of this uh, kind of music that we have on the image, rock, classical, jazz, gospel, rap, R&B, pop and country, um, are popular in our country. In this case, you are going to write your uh, option on the chat. Me van a escribir cuál es el tipo de música que es popular en nuestro país de los que están en la imagen. Solo de los que están en la imagen. Lo vamos a escribir en el chat para ver cuál es el que ustedes consideran que se escucha acá en nuestro país. We can have like two or three different kind of music that we have on the image or if you consider we are just going to have one or two. Así que vamos a escribir cuál creen ustedes que es el tipo de música de eso de la imagen que se escucha en el país. I have one answer. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Okay. Oh, I have one that is like, I think the number one. Okay, I'm going to, let me put the, the list here because we have like three, three different uh, kind of music that we listen in our country. Let me show you here the number one i think is pop number two is rock and let me see we have uh number three but let me see what is this pop rock pop uh-huh we have rap and also other and in this case we are going to use other because rap is just one okay so in our country of this um, kind of music, we listen pop, rock, and others. And in this case, when we are talking about others, we are going to answer the second question. And in this case, the second question said, what other kind of music are popular in our country? So the same thing, you are going to write what are the kind of music that are popular in, in our country um, based on your knowledge. Según lo que ustedes saben, según lo que ustedes conocen, ¿cuáles son esos otros tipos de eh, músicas que se escuchan en nuestro país? Vamos a escribir una opción y vamos a hacer igual nuestra lista. I have an answer right now. Um, uh -huh. What other kind of music can we listen here in our country? 
I'm going to use stars for this one. Okay, we have wrap. We have, okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Um, we're going to wait for the whole thing. Okay, the next one is reggaeton or reggaeton. Next one is rock. Uh, let's see. Um, in this case, banda. O regional, ¿verdad? Mm, what else? Gospel. Gospel se refiere a las alabanzas y música que se escucha en las iglesias o, o templos. El reggaetón, banda. Ah, rancheras. Salsa, cumbia. Merengue. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you. So if you can see here, when we are talking about the kind of music that we can listen in our country, is completely different from the music that they can listen on the United States. We can make like the difference or you can like see what are like the kind of music that they like versus the music that we listen in our country. And in this case, I'm going to make like this to see the whole thing. I think like this. Okay, kind of. We're going to take rock. Or we can do this one. Yes, like this. So in this case, you can see the different uh, kind of music. Here in El Salvador, uh, we have like rap. We just like tend to listen rap like in the United States. We have reggaeton that this one is not listened on the United States in this image, you know. Um, we have rock in United States. Also, they listen rock banda. Now I think that in our days or nowadays, people in the U.S. listen this kind of music. But in this image, it's not like that. Then we have gospel on the image. We have gospel too, rancheras. Uh, I think that there are a couple of of people on the United States that listen rancheras. Salsa, cumbia y merengue. They are not uh, on the image, but you know that um, United States is a very multicultural country. So in that case, we can like uh, hear that, that, that kind of music. Um, Estados Unidos es un país multicultural donde se escucha este tipo de música también, no de gran manera, pero hay ciertos lugares que quizás, verdad, escuchan este tipo de música. But we have like more um, kind of music that we can listen in our country. Now, we are going to see the personal question. What is your favorite kind of music? For this one, I'm going to ask you personally, which one or what is your uh, favorite kind of music? So think about the uh, kind of music that you listen. What is your uh, favorite kind of music? And we are going to do it listening your voice. Les voy a dar dos minutos para que piensen sobre cuál es su género favorito, cuál es la música que les gusta, cuál es el género que les gusta escuchar. 
y yo los voy a ir mencionando para que nos digan cuál es su género favorito. Yes, but I'm going to listen your, your voice first. Remember that we are going to have like different um, practices. So in this case, we're going to do it like this, making some questions, making some uh, things that we are going to do. Yes, but wait, we're going to answer with our voice. We are not going to answer on the chat right now. So we're going to begin. Albert Martinez. Albert Martinez. Albert Martinez, are you here? Mm, okay, next one, Ana Lucia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. What is your favorite kind of music, Ana Lucia? I like gospel music. Oh, very good. Gospel music. Thank you. I'm going to add here the names. Gospel. Um, Angel Pineda. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. What is your favorite kind of music? My favorite kind of music is gospel, teacher. Oh, very good. We have two people that like gospel. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Next one, Connie Quintanilla. Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Salsa, reggaeton, merengue. Oh, salsa, reggaeton, and merengue. Thank you. And merengue. Okay. Tropical sounds. Edith Carolina. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I really like gospel. Gospel. Yes. Okay, very good. We have three people that like a gospel. Thank you. Okay, next one. Elizabeth Rivera. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My, my, my favorite kind of music is salsa. Oh, very good. Another one, salsa. Excellent. Thank you. Next one, Gilbert Gutierrez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My favorite kind of music is salsa and cumbia. Oh, very good. We are going to add here cumbia. Thank you. Next one, Javier Arguello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my favorite kind of music is rock. Oh, very good, rock. We are going to, thank you. You're, we're going to add here, rock. Um, next one, Johnny De Leon. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My favorite king uh, music is Vallenato. Vallenato, oh, very good. Excellent, thank you. Okay, we are going to add here. Let me just make it something. Yeah. 
Give me a second. Okay, here we have the next one, Vaginatus. So if you can see, um, we have another kind of music here that we didn't mention on the previous list. So in this case, we have Vaginatus. That is a new kind of music that we are adding in this list. Next one, Jose Alcides. No, okay, next one. Magali Stephanie. Hello, teacher. Hello. Well, my favorite music is salsa, and I love to dance this music. Oh, very good. Excellent. Salsa, another one that likes salsa. And we are almost done with the participants. Mercedes Elena. Hi everyone. I like Hello. music. Like Sarah and Wizard of Oz. Uh, excuse me, what? I like rock music. Ah, like, okay. Like Sarah and Wizard of Oz. Ah, excellent. Uh, that I have a kind of problem with my audio, so I didn't listen to the name of rock music. Thank you. Excellent. Um. Next one, Oscar Guillermo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my favorite was music gospel. Gospel too, very good, excellent. Thank you. And we have a couple of participants more. Roxana Yasmin. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. My favorite kind of music is banda. Ah, okay, very good, excellent, thank you. Banda. And we have the next one, Susana Ivet. Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, my favorite kind of music is pop. Pop, okay, very good. Excellent, thank you. And the last one, Jacqueline Mejia. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. My kind, my kind of music is pop. Okay, very good, pop too. Excellent, thank you. Okay, we have just a short list because uh, some of you listen the same kind of music. But we have um different a uh, kind of music that we listened, and you know that they can be kind of like different because in some cases we have gospel that is um that kind of music that is talking about a a God and the things uh, that we we can think like um something very spiritual and something kind of that topic. Then we have a uh, tropical uh, sounds like salsa, reggaeton, merengue, cumbia. We have something kind of a uh, heart that is rock. Then we have a uh, different uh, kind of uh, music that is vallenatos. It's, it's a good um, kind of music. We have also banda and the last one that is one of the most popular um, kind of music, I think, that is pop. You know that pop is like... Uh, a uh, group of things. We have different kind of uh, sounds on this um, gender. So we have this uh, kind of information that is related to the music. And you know that we are talking about the things that we like and the things that we don't like. And this is one of the things that we think when we are uh, making this kind of conversation or when we are uh, having this kind of ideas that is the music, but we are going to see different things when we are talking about likes and dislikes. And in this case, um, we're going to think about uh, entertainment. We're going to talk about entertainment. And in this case, we are going to have like, um, 
uh, we can say, uh, what is the name of this? Um, vamos a tener un esquema, vamos a, a crear un pequeño esquema relacionado con el entretenimiento. We are going to have movies, we are going to have TV programs, and we are going to have music. That is the, the topic that we have here. I'm going to write different words, and you are going to tell me which category this word is. ¿En qué categoría queda esta palabra? And then, when we have the, the words on the table, because we are going to have something like that, uh, you are going to tell me two words more per a category. Vamos a agregar, después de hacer el ejercicio de clasificar estas palabras en el cuadro, porque vamos a hacer un cuadro con uh, TV programs, movies, and music, you are going to write or you are going to tell me two more words per category. Vamos a agregar dos palabras más por categoría. En este caso, ustedes pueden escribir una en el chat y vamos a ir viendo cuáles vamos a escribir en cada una de las categorías. So, in this case, I'm going to add the table. That is the first thing that we are going to do. And we are going to have three of these. And I'm going to make just one. Yeah, we are going to make it bigger. We are going to have here words. Like here, entertainment. And we have the first one that is TV programs. The next one that is movies. Next one, music. Okay, I'm going to add here another one, but in this case, it's just for the words. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to do it three, six, nine here. So in this one, we are going to have the words. Aquí vamos a tener las palabras que vamos a ir clasificando en este otro cuadro. So I have words like classical, game shows, horror films, jazz, news, hop, salsa, Science fiction, soap operas, talk shows, thrillers, and westerns. So in this case, we're going to have like these words and you are going to um, help me to say or to write these um, names on the first uh, table. Vamos a, eh, vamos a tratar de decir en cuál de esas categorías quedaría cada una de esas palabras. So, in this case, you are going to um, have like three or four minutes to read the words and then to decide in which of these categories we're going to write those names. Then, when we are in the four minutes, we are going to complete this one. So, you have four minutes to uh, read this information to decide in which of these spaces we are going to write every word. Tenemos cuatro minutos, so let's go.
Okay, let's see. We are going to uh, have this information, but we are going to begin with the first one that is TV programs. Which words we are going to use with TV programs? ¿Qué vamos a utilizar o qué palabras vamos a agregar en la casilla de TV programs de las palabras que tenemos abajo? Talk show. Okay. New. Have talk shows. Um, okay. New. New. Game show. Fiction. Okay. Game show. Sub operas. News. 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 Horror films. Someone said. We have game show, horror films, news, science fiction. That is the other one. Oh, wow. Well. Talk shows, thrillers, someone said also. And in this case, we're going to add the two more. In this case, you are going to write your ideas on the chat. Para las otras dos que vamos a agregar en TV programs, esas sí las vamos a escribir en el chat. Las demás sí las decimos, esas dos las agregamos. Ustedes pueden pensar en cualquiera eh, de los TV programs y ponerlos ahí para agregar dos extras a cada uno de las casillas. Now, um, in this case, movies. Para el género 
eh, o para las películas, ¿qué vamos a utilizar? ¿Qué palabras utilizamos? Ah, ok. Tenemos science fiction. You said horror films. Westerns. Ah. Films, westerns. Ah, uh -huh, very good. Westerns. Thriller. Okay. And of course, you are going to think about other kind of uh, movies that we can see and write them on the chat. And for music, what we have here for music? Salsa, classical. Salsa, classical. Pop, Pop. Uh, salsa, okay. Pop. jazz. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh huh, jazz. Ok, we're done with this one. Aquí ya tenemos información de los TV programs, movies, and music. Now, you're going to write um, your ideas about, you can write in the same message, one TV show, one kind of movies, in this case, is uh, we're talking about el género de las películas, no el nombre de las películas, eh, movies and also one kind of music y los vamos a ir agregando al cuadro I have some ideas here in TV programs we have sports very good eh, in movies fantasy excellent and in music we have metal metal or in this case heavy metal we are going to add like this Comedy, excellent. We have comedy. What more? What can we add here on this uh, musical? Oh, very good. On movies, we have musical. What else? What else? Romantic, very good. Romantic, animated. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Teacher, funny, Tell me. funny movie. Ah, um, in this case, we can add it in comedy, in comedia. Okay, in comedy. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, comedy. Okay, we have here um, music, okay, gospel. Uh, we can take some of the, the other that we have um, in the first exercise. We can have merengue. We can have also banda. We can have also vallenatos. And we have like this kind of um, information here. So you have here some of these, oh, electronic. Very good. Excellent. Um, yes. In TV programs, we can talk about music programs also. So, here we have some ideas about this kind of information. Ah, cartoons, very good. Excellent. Aquí ya tenemos nuestra, nuestra tabla completada. We have different uh, kind of words. We have different kind of ideas related to this kind of a. Uh, entertainment topic and also we are talking about different kind of things that we uh, like to see on the tv for example 
we like to see science fiction movies, maybe we we like to see horror movies, but in my case, ah, yes, of course, documentals. Um, in my case, I like to watch horror movies and also I like to watch fantasy movies and animated movies also, but I don't like or I dislike the comedy um, movies. I don't know why, but I don't like that kind of movies. For me, it's like, mm -mm, it's a no. So in this case, we're just going to do the last thing, I guess, because we're almost at the end. Uh, we have just like less than 10 minutes. So in this case, we are going to um, we're going to tell, uh, think about a different kind of uh, topics. And we are going to like explain in a short, like, it's not like a, a conversation, but we can make a whole idea about a different um, kind of things that we like. Vamos a hacer como una pequeña um, introducción de nosotros mismos sobre las cosas que nos gustan. Pero para esto tenemos categorías. And in this case, we are going to talk about, let me see, the categories, food. We are going to talk about food. We are going to talk about weather. And also we can uh, talk about activities. And also we can uh, talk about colors and animals. We have five different things. And we can think about the kind of food that we like, the kind of food that we don't like, the weather that we like or that we prefer, the weather that we don't like or that is not our favorite time of the year, uh, what kind of activities that we like to do, and maybe we can think about uh, the free time in this case. We can think about the free time. Um, we can think about the colors. What are your favorite colors? What are the colors that you don't like? And what is your favorite animal and the animal that you don't like? In this case, we can have this example. I really like to eat potatoes for me is my favorite uh, vegetable, um, but I don't like to eat fish. For me, it's uh, something that I don't want to eat. Um, I can eat it like one time a year. It's not like uh, I can uh, eat this kind of food a lot because I don't like it. I really don't like it fish, but I like to eat a different kind of vegetables um, like potatoes, like cucumber, like tomatoes, like um, onion is not my favorite thing, but I can eat onion. And also I can eat uh, lettuce, I can eat cucumber. radish, cucumber, it's uh, very good in salads. Um, yes, salad. yes, of course. My favorite weather is rainy weather. I don't like sunny weather because um, I don't like to feel like the heat. And my favorite activities when I have time or in my free times is to read a book, uh, listen music, um, watch uh, movies or watch anime. That is my favorite thing. And my favorite colors are black, white, a blue, green, and red. And my favorite animal is the dog. And I don't like spiders. I really cats. hate spiders. Hmm? Um, and cats. Cats. Too. I like cats, but they are not my favorite. I prefer to have dogs. Okay. In that kind of okay. things, 
Mm -hmm. You are going to tell me what are the things that you like and the things that you don't like. We're going to have a couple of minutes to um, think about this information, but you know that we have just four minutes to end this um, session. So in this case, you are going to tell me that information tomorrow at the beginning of the session. Vamos a, a utilizar esta información para mañana al inicio de nuestra sesión. In that, um, in that moment, you are going to tell me what are the kind of foods that you like, the kind of food that you don't like, the weather that you prefer, and the ones that is not your favorite. And you are going to add also the activities that, that you perform during the day or in your free time. Um, the color. You know that we have a lot of colors. We have a lot of a uh, like shades of color, so you can choose whatever you want. Um, with the other group, I am working with colors, so I'm, I'm going to work with colors. And I have a really long list of colors that we are going to learn because you know that we are talking about just the basic colors like red, yellow, blue, like blue, pink, another orange, even green, gray, black, purple, and all of that colors. But you can find more colors and you can say, ah, I like maybe a gold, a uh, golden, uh, I like vermilion or different kind of colors. I don't know. We have a lot of words, uh, I mean, a lot of colors that we can use and we can even separate them in categories because you know that we have shades of colors. And for example, we have like shades of red, los, como los diferentes derivados del rojo. And we have like crimson, like scarlet, like ruby, cherry, and a lot of other words. Uh, we have the shades of blue. And we have like navy blue, sky blue, baby blue, uh, royal blue, teal, turquoise, different kind of colors. And of course, we have the shades of uh, yellow. We have the shades of uh, green. We have the shades of a orange, we have also shades of purple. And in some cases, we cannot think about all of the colors, even in Spanish. Tenemos muchos colores, tenemos demasiados colores, incluso a veces en español ni siquiera los pensamos ni los utilizamos, eh, como el naranja caramelo, un caramelo naranja, I don't know. Hay diferentes tipos de colores y cada uno de los colores principales tiene como su gama de colores más. Y eh, we can use those like colors to express what are our favorite colors or the colors that we don't like. Even you can say, I don't like the shades of eh, yellow, for example. No me gustan la, la, los derivados del amarillo o la gama de los amarillos. I don't know, different kind of ideas. So remember, we are going to do this activity tomorrow at the beginning of the session. And you are going to explain me uh, the things that you like and don't like in a really short uh, phrase. I don't know, uh, uh, a couple of seconds, even a minute to explain the things that you like and don't like. Okay, we're going to end this session here and we are going to see each other tomorrow. So have a really good night and see you on session number two of this week, number three. Have a good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.